My name's Guy Kesteven. I've been a pro bike tester for 20 years. I'm in Glentress on a beautiful morning. We rode three trail centres in Wales and Lake District in England yesterday. We're riding some more in Scotland and England today. And the bike I'm riding is the best shaped trail bike in the world. It's the white T130 CRS. That means carbon mainframe, alloy rear end. That means the fantastic SRAM X01 Eagle. It means Guide RS brakes. Guide RS means you get the swing link leverage change cam in the RockShox trusty pike here just in the rc format but to be honest that's all you need unless you're really into fettling your suspension but that charger damper is just so good that i mean i put 60k into it from the middle of the night at cody brennan to flat open around Winlatter, and i never had a bad moment with it there was never a moment oh i could just have done with a little more mid-range support there or you know oh high speed spike how wrist endangering it's just a fork that begs to be ridden and it's the perfect fork for this bike reverb post with obligatory a reverb action shot rockshox monarch rear shock relatively firm compression tune on there and the large volume debonair air can to just give that supple top off the stroke little kicker linkage there main pivot hidden behind the cable there it's it's a classic uh, four bar bike tie combo is excellent maxis high roller two up front in a triple compound and they've stuck it on the uh, race face arc 30 rim so it's a really good broad pro tire profile it's getting towards plus in terms of the way it rolls and the way it grips nice work white they've always done a marvelous job specking complete bikes to be honest so i'm not surprised on the back uh maxis cross mat two fast rolling grippy brilliant back tire White were one of the first people to use a single trainering specific design for trail bikes. So they've got that lovely wide pivot in there for extra stiffness. Those pivots are lifetime warranted, so if you do wear them out, just wang them back in an envelope and they'll send you some fresh ones. Uh, room for a bottle cage and external bottom bracket because press fit falls apart, shakes and generally makes your knife a tearful nightmare. Talking of tearful nightmares, that's a SRAM 1400 alloy crank on here, even though it's Eagle. And that means you're not going to burst into tears as soon as you tap out your crank end on a rock, because this is a low bottom bracket. Boost chain set to give you even more room behind that single ring chain set. And unsurprisingly, boost back end to match it. All very up to date. But where this bike really shines is in the riding. So let's go and do that. The white T130C RS, just a fantastic way to attack any trail as hard as you can. And that short 420mm chainstay whips the back end round. So even though it's a super stable bike, hairpins aren't a problem. And they've done a great job with the suspension. So it's efficient, but it's still got that forgiveness there. If you need to punch up something a little rougher and if you find yourself stuck in a queue it's got that punch and acceleration that means it's not a problem because it's a white whatever weather you're riding in it's fully sealed sealed cartridge bearings lifetime warranty on them sealed seat post junction so the weather ain't going to stop you and if you get the works White will even put you some pretty sweet carbon wheels on. And the fantastic thing about the white is, is while it's tight, efficient, and responsive on the climbs, it's when you get to the fun bits that, by God, it's just awesome. And there's not many more fun bits than spooky wood at Glen's Rest. Yes! Oh, they've got the geometry so right on this. It doesn't have to be crazy slack because then you lose that agility, that turning that lets you just throw it round, get the tyres over and that 467mm reach means the front wheel is way out in front so you can just take those really aggressive lines through the burns and the big 27.5 inch wheels, rims kind of fill the gap between 27.5 responsiveness and 29 a roll 130mm of travel it's just a great sweet spot between cross-country responsiveness 
and bigger hit survival as you go faster harder catch the boys in front and that's what this bike's all about we run from above all that's a 160 mil bike in a 29er ahead. That's how good this 130 is. The roll of that 29er, the edge of travel of that 160. But just the shape of this thing, that what makes it the gap closing, grin spreading, just champion that it is. The high line into the berm. It's the straight line hop. It's everything that's great about mountain biking. All in one punchy, have a go hero of a bike. I just can't get enough of the bugger. I mean, I've done 100k on this over the past two days, and it's just not put a foot wrong. Single track, flat out rocky, some long old climbs. It's just been a great bike to spend two awesome days on. I've tested literally thousands. A bike's road, tri, aero, mountain of all size and types since I started doing this in 1997. And there's very few truly memorable bikes where they've got everything right. Bars, stem, tyres, suspension tune. I haven't even touched the shock and fork on this. Just a sag set up and then tyre pressure. And then just ripping it for 100k, literally night and day. Boom, just so much fun. And when it goes back, I'm really gonna miss it. And that's kind of the best thing you can say about any bike.